This is the Ball and Ball podcast, where we're just going to be discussing all things football and boxing. To my left, world champion coach, Dave Colwell, analyst. Uh, he's a bit of everything, Dave. He's a bit of everything. To my right, footballer Josh Windass, goal machine this year. And we're just going to be discussing everything football and boxing. So the first thing we're going to be speaking about today is Fury against AJ. Dave, give me the lowdown on this fight. It's a fight that everybody's wanting to see. Um, I don't think that AJ's losses have diminished the fight, uh, apart from not being for all the belts. And I still think it's probably even more intrigued because you're looking at AJ and even the people that was backing him against Fury now are probably turning against him and thinking he's got no chance. So he's a massive underdog in the fight. I'm one of those people. Yeah, you've always been one of those people. Yeah. On, 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 you reckon on he's just going to get smashed, constantly. don't you, in, in, in early doors? I'm saying four or five rounds, yeah. I don't think I don't even think he's got the power that people say he's got either. Oh, oh I swear oh, to God. God. I don't think, when have you ever seen him knock someone out one dig in the last five, six years? Nice. I, I don't see it. I just think Fury's just going to... I think he's going to put it on him like he did in the Wilder second fight. If I, can, I, I think he'll actually come out like he did in the, in the, in the Wilder 2 Do you not fight. think he's just lost a bit of confidence because of the Ruiz loss with Joshua? Because I've seen chinks no, in his I, armor I, from I that don't, fight. I don't, uh, people always talk about it since the Ruiz loss. I think there was a change in him after he got dropped against Vladimir. Yeah, I'm the same. I think you can look up... Oh, like, you, mean, you mean that from the, it stemmed from there? Yeah, I okay. think the, the, there's just a little bit of um, he hesitancy and a little bit fight, of doubt. Yeah. But even all the trainers he keeps going through in that, I don't think he backs in. I think he needs outside help to make himself believe that he can win. I don't think he believes he can win fights on his own, and mm -hmm. as mad as it sounds. My opinion on the whole training situation is, I don't know whether, Dave, you're way more qualified to say this than me, but you wouldn't want someone in your corner telling your fighter that you've been, say like if you get employed to train AJ, but you've got to train with, this is not digging out Angel mm. Fernandez, by the way, because he's obviously doing something right, he's training Richard Riappo, he's got Fraser Clark, he's doing well. But if you were employed to train AJ, mm. would you tolerate someone else being there with you, Dave, giving, giving different instructions? There should only be one cook in the kitchen, yeah, in my should, opinion. For, for, me, the, for me, there should be one voice in the corner. Yeah. But, but what I will say is, if you've been employed as a help, to assist somebody, that's your role. So if, yeah. I, if, if I'm brought in to assist... As long as you're aware code, of that. Then that, that's it. But then, then how that would work is perhaps if you're the coach, head coach, me and you would discuss things. If we had disagreements and things, say, oh, I think you should do this, this. We would discuss things and then come to, a, come to an understanding of how we're going to approach it, a plan, a single unified plan, and then you would lead that in the camp, did you see the interview they did fight. before his last fight and he was like oh who's so who's who's the main trainer and they were like both look at each yeah, other this, as if to say like that, oh I, I uh, he does works. a bit of stuff and I does yeah. a bit of stuff and it was like they were like none of them really wanted to take but it's hard ownership because of who's in you control don't, and, unless you're behind closed doors in the gym with them you don't know how the dynamics working which is what I said before the fight is this you know people saying oh Robert Garcia being brought in do you think it, you know how do you think that affects the fight is that a good thing you don't know, because we're on the outside looking in. We don't see what goes behind closed doors. I, like I reckon Garcia don't even want Angel Fernandez there. Yeah, I, I reckon, he's, I reckon he's just there because yeah. he's, getting, yeah. he's getting paid to be there. 100%. I, my, my issue is is this. I, and I've said it to, to KD. I've said it to Freddie. I'm, the manage, the manage, the, um, Anthony Joshua's uh, management team. I got on with very well. I said, take him to Big Bear. Take him to America. Get him away. He should not be chasing university students around a corridor. He shouldn't. <laughs> at 2 o'clock in the morning. He shouldn't be. He sh I, 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 an, an elite level athlete like that should not be collaring 18-year-olds at 2 o'clock in the morning because they dissed him in a corridor. <laughs> it's, uh, tell me what you're laughing at. It's true, isn't it? That's, he shouldn't that's be. like me going he out should... someone's that gaff on Twitter. Yeah, on that it's like him going out on a student night running around like that because he said, oh, you shit at football or something does, like that. Eh? Yeah, probably. <laughs> I don't know why he gets up till the weekend. That happens regularly. Yeah, man. but I'm saying that you've got to have, like, go and take him away to America where no one, nobody will care about Anthony Joshua. I, think, Big I think ultimately, regardless of all that sort of things, AJ, from the outside looking in and from the bits where, where you know, you kind of see him, you know him, you're around him, um, I think he's a guy that needs to trust whoever he's got. Yeah, it doesn't matter if it's one, two, three coaches, whatever. He needs to trust the people around him implicitly. And because we know it looks like he has demons. Every fighter has demons. Yeah. Sometimes when his performances haven't been good, you look at the, the uh, Ruiz loss, you look at even um, the way he came out against Usyk, there's a different demeanor about him. His, yeah, his mood, his, his mentality can change. I, I think he needs that trust I'm not qualified to say, but I actually don't think he's good enough. There you go. 
I think a you fully fit. I, I think a yeah, fully fit Andrew Ruiz beats him. So I've got this problem I where, where not, and it's not, it's not the fact that I'm a big AJ fan, right? You've got to look at who has he beaten throughout his career. Yeah, I'm an AJ he's fan as well. Look at them rankings. You, I, you I just don't think. No, I just don't. I think if Ruiz chucked that second fight, then he was. 500 didn't stone. train did he yeah. <laughs> he, didn't train. he didn't train I'm saying a fully fit Ruiz beats him as well again no I disagree I do Honestly, disagree I don't I, with AJ it's a man it's what he said afterwards he goes his first statement after he lost was I need to train harder no you don't yeah. need to train harder you need to get your head right mate yeah. you need to get your head right mate you can he can hit Anthony Joshua can hit Joe Joyce has told me he shared rounds with Joshua and he said he didn't sometimes he, he'd hit him and he'd like Phew. and Joe would tell no, me about obviously, got, obviously he can punch got, but no. I'm saying like He's at the top, top, top level. Yeah, yeah. He hasn't really put know, people away, has okay, he? Really? Look, look at the Ruiz fight. He? he got caught with a, with a shot against Ruiz, right? On yeah. the top of his temple, yeah. one it, Dave, yeah? It ruined the fight. That, that ended the fight there. He was gone after that. And he's lost twice to Usyk. He's arguably the best fighter in the yeah. world. On paper. He's landed flush on it. I know he's got a good chin in that. On Usyk, he landed flush on AJ. He's like a, uh, on did, did Ruiz, it was a flash. Did he In both fights, probably. He did flush? a few. I think I remember. I'm saying he didn't hurt any of them. In the first fight, he caught... Usyk with a, with his best right hand, I think I don't know, I can't remember what round it was, but it catches him as Usyk comes in a straight line and nails him with a big right hand. But still, it weren't quite quite flush. I, I understand what you're saying. He's not a lights out one he's punch not wilder, out, like Wilder. Yeah. But, but well, is, yeah. Wilder, let's yeah. be honest. Yeah, let's yeah, be honest. In, in, the, in the heavyweight division, no, who the hell can yeah. can? Because Wilder can literally lean over the fence at, at Twyla Cross and, and, and chin an animal. And, and regardless of, of whether he, he hits hard enough or whatever. He hits hard enough to drop all these people. Look at look at the people he's knocked out. Look at the people he's dropped. Right, he hits hard enough to get rid of them. Look at his look at the Pulev. caliber the caliber of the fighter. He was quite young, weren't he, Pulev? Yeah. <laughs> look at he's a good fighter. He's still a good fighter. <laughs> he's still a good fighter. No, he is good. He's a still a good on. operator. Listen, a lot of heavyweights. Lennox Lewis, I know he finished at was it thirty eight. Even at thirty eight, but Lennox Lewis could could still box on into his forties. He yeah. was that good. And I just a lot of heavyweights peak at their their, their, their in a later age. You, you can't look at what what AJ done and say he's not good enough. He's not. Is he is he good enough to beat elite elite? That's what I'm then, saying. I'm, looking, I'm on about different. the top 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 of the sport. What's there's two people. Tyson Fury and Usyk. Fury and Usyk. That's it. And Joe Joyce. Wilder. No. Fury and Fury Fury and Usyk. And Wilder. No, no. Do you think Wilder beats AJ? Wilder's not elite. Do you think he beats AJ? Wilder's not elite. Do you think he beats AJ? Wilder's not elite. Do you think he beats AJ? Do I think he beats? Honestly, do you think he beats AJ? I think it's a toss-up. Exactly the same. I think. think I'm saying he beats AJ in three rounds. No problem. Quite, quite, quite possible. possible. But uh, but let me add this: Wilder can beat any heavyweight in three rounds. But AJ could beat beat Wilder in three rounds. Just looking at that suspicious-looking wasp there. (laughs) Except for (laughs) he couldn't beat Tyson in three rounds, though, could he? Who? Deontay. Um, no, well, he obviously yeah. he obviously hasn't. He's had he's no. had three attempts to do it yeah. and, and couldn't do it. So no, we'd have to say that aside. No, I'm, I'm saying every other. I'm saying he beats Usyk. I'm saying he beats every other heavyweight in the world. Wilder. No, I disagree. I, I think. I, I, but but he's like I agree with what you're saying. But I think he's capable of beating every yeah. heavyweight in the division. Because if he lands that right. But if Usyk gets into his flow, Usyk you, he's not winning a round off Usyk. Not happening. No, I agree. I think it'll be like the Ortiz fight a little bit. But, but I still think people it do the slag same, think Wilder up too much. Saying he can't box his Olympic bronze medalist. Can box. Yeah. He just he has been allowed the free freedom to be and I'll tell you something as well. Fights. Wilder, I will talk about Wilder. Him hooking up with Malik Scott is a great move. Yeah, agree. Because he's his you boxing IQ is just gonna get better and better. Malik's and better. gonna be a brilliant coach, yeah, by the really way. Is. Really, really, yeah. really good coach. Well yeah. he looked better in the third fight, didn't he? Yeah, I know absolutely. Fury was, he the game plan went out the window because of bit. fatigue took over. So game plan went out the window and then Tyson and the Fury. Circumstances in every fight, in there. Fury had that problem with his kid where he weren't training as much, he went into that third fight. Yeah. Not out of shape, but not his usual self. And do we agree that Tyson Fury is the best heavyweight in the world? Number one, right now. Yeah. Come on, yeah. Man. I, yeah. I I think that Usyk Tyson Fury, if they fight, it's a stinker. Oh, stinker, hundred percent. It's a stinker. It's, it's a, a proper stinker for, for a for a a purist and for somebody that appreciates skills. Yeah. It's a really good fight to watch. It's, it's like really the, the, the kid but in for, me was AJ against yeah. Fury. I'm well more excited to watch that oh, fight than the, than the Usyk. It'll happen. I don't. Not this year. You know they're talking about this. December, and it's too short, isn't it? To I build don't. it up and all that. Because of the TV situations and things like that. And also, here's another thing. From a fan's point of view, we want it in the UK. But from the fighters' point of view, you know, if they go to Saudi... They're, 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 they're 100 mil on the top. Yeah, exactly. So why, why would they take the fight 
for the money. Because Fury, 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 Fury didn't make a 24-hour deadline. About, <laughs> you can't take Tyson <laughs> Fury's word for it. One day, yeah. one, one minute he's retired, next minute he's, uh, exactly. he's, he's fighting he's, Derek he's Obviously, he wants paying the most. He can't throw the fire. So why would he take a short end? Do you not think it's just a bluff? So it yeah. But do you think he's I, bluffing I on how easy he thinks it's going to be? I think he believes he's going to... I genuinely believe they think they're bluffing each other constantly. I think Tyson Fury, this is my honest opinion, he's using this as a smokescreen to lure Usyk out for the Undisputed in December. Because yeah. Usyk's already yeah. said that he's not fighting in December, yeah. he's, he needs time away with yeah. his kids and that. Tyson's basically saying, OK, if, if he's not going to do that, I'm, I'm going to give AJ this payday yeah. and we're going to have this huge fight. That's why... I think, I, I think you use when it comes down to putting ink on paper, if I'm, I hope I'm wrong, by the way, because I want to see this fight because I'm a boxing fan. Before yeah. anything else, I'm a fan. Yeah. I want to see the fight. But like Dave, I don't think this fight's going to happen. Do you think Fury thinks it's going to be as... So, you know, he's called him a bodybuilder and he's rubbish yeah. and all that. Yeah, I do think... Tyson do you think he believes that? Yes. So yeah. you think he's going to... Yeah. You think Fury yeah. believes he'll smash would, him in four rounds? Wouldn't like you easy. as well, looking at... Looking at um, his last two fights in his last I believe it as well, but I'm saying, is he just doing that to get in his head? Or do you reckon he no, believes he's rubbish? He believes he's rubbish. But if I mean, AJ gets his head right, Dave, I, listen, he can cause Tyson Fury, Fury's problems. not an idiot. He doesn't believe he's rubbish. He just thinks he's nowhere near his level. Yeah, but that's and, dangerous and, and, as well, as well. Eh? Yeah, it is. But but also the, the biggest thing for me and the biggest worry for for AJ for me is not the capabilities of each fighter physically. It's how much does Fury screw AJ's head up before he even gets in that ring? I agree because Fury. If if you and I, that's another reason why I think. Fury would hesitate or is hesitating to go in with Usyk because I think he knows he can't get in, in Usyk's head. Yeah. And the fact that he can't get in somebody's head does that mess up Fury's head. Whereas he knows that he can torture AJ going into that yeah, fight. Yeah. Call him a dosser every and, two and, minutes. And, 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 and AJ Usyk don't even know what a dosser fight. is. But listen, going, go, Dave, who wins that fight and and how? Fury AJ, who, who wins? If and that how? happens now, uh, then you'd have to say Fury's the favourite. Um, How? I, I would we say... We have to predictions in this. Oh, not this far out before it's even made. Come on, Dave. I would say... Your prediction would change probably it, as it yeah, goes on. Yeah, because if you, to, if you had to put so, your house on so, it now... So, out. Fury against Wilder 2, that version of... of oh, cool. Look boy, at the era. professionalism here, man. Episode 1. Hey, what's going it's on? It's my old man. It's my old man. Come on, carry on. Um, Fury against Wilder 2, that Fury, the way that he fought that, I think... I'm with you. I think, I think it's like in, could could be inside four rounds. Jesus. Wow. But but this is my thing about every Fury's great and everything. But how many performances has he actually looked great? How many performances has he had? Go through his career. How many performances has he actually looked great? Sometimes he's not on cold. And and if he's well, not, I agree with that. If he's not, and if AJ Look can get some fight. sort of com confidence in that, and. It's a toss-up fight. On another day, on another day, I don't want to move on in a second, but on another day, and that was in a British boxing ring, Wallen would have won that fight on a cut. Mm. He would have. Mm. So I'm, I'm going to say Tyson Fury win that fight yeah. inside nine rounds, you're saying Fury. I'm agreeing with Dave, it's four or five, done. I, but, I, but I think it depends on which version of Fury comes. Yeah. It's like with, with, with the Dillian White. Fury, so, no so, turns up, man. So with the Dillian White fight, we all expected more from Pure, and then you looked at him in that fire, and it was like, it was, I know he's taking his time. Do you not think he didn't have to? He didn't have to. Yeah, though, but that's he, a big he, exhibition, a big showcase. You're at Wembley. You he did Wembley. end it well, though. He, yeah, ended, he, ended, it he closed the show like, well, didn't he? He, did, he, did. he didn't take but, a shot. But before that, I'm not being funny. Was it a great fight? Was it a great no, performance? No, no. But isn't that? Well, I, listen. I think that was more down to Dillian not really biting down on his gum shield and going for it because that's. I, I expected more from Dillian. I never expected him to win that fight, so I don't want to lie and say, oh, I thought no, Dillian would. I but, but, I, but I expected about, a lot more yeah. from Dillian in that fight. And I think Tyson just thought, well, this is this is a piece of piss, this is for me. Keep him long, bang, finish, fight's over. But if he, if he, but, but my point is, is in every way boxing, if you play that game, it's let's say if he goes out there and, and, if, and if this is easy way, AJ, mm. and he goes to clown and play about, AJ does possess that ability. If he gets his feet in range, if he lets his hands, he does possess that ability to switch your lights off. Because if Steve Cunningham can drop you, if other fighters where he's been, you know, he's Peach been tagged and, and where, way. yeah, it was. But <laughs> Steve Cunningham's a cruiserweight. Are you, are you telling <laughs> me that? Straight over the top. Are you, are you telling me that Steve Cunningham is harder than AJ? <laughs> no. So what I'm saying is, everyway boxing. If you take the longer that you're allowed to be in there. <laughs> <laughs> right. Listen, that, that's that's perfect time to move on 